So today it's just going to be, I picked up a few tools and uh, from Princess Auto and from Amazon. And I just want to quickly just, you know, show you what I got. I have a brake bleeder, which I'm hoping, I won't go too much into this because I'm, I'm hoping tomorrow to demonstrate this if everything goes well. That's the plan. That's the plan then. So I'm going to try and ble uh, bleed my uh, brakes on the Focus. Uh, so yeah, uh, anyway, uh, you get the, the canister, you know, four ounces. Yeah, four ounces, 120 mil. And, uh, well, I won't say much on that till tomorrow, hopefully. Where can I put this? All right. This here... I thought I had a leak on the focus as well. Uh, got underneath and uh, seemed like there was a small leak overnight, probably a quarter of a teaspoon. Would uh, I put cardboard down and you know to see how big of a stain, like a puddle or whatever it would be. So it's only a small one, but I'm thinking maybe it's a start of uh, you know uh, a leaky head gasket. Or something like that. So, and uh, I bought this tool on Amazon. It was 50 bucks. And uh, I figured, why not? Um, I wouldn't spend too much because the amount of times that I'm going to use it, it's not going to be very often. I pray. <laughs> I, I hope I never use this thing, finding leaks, but unless it's something simple. But uh, anyway, this one here fits on the, the threaded portion because on the, uh, the 2007 Ford Focus, like many, many, many vehicles, there is no rad cap. Um, so the cap is actually on your overflow tank. <clears throat> so this one fits on there, no problem. The only thing is it don't seal it don't seal right because it has to go further down so really i was hoping that uh but one i want this one here i believe i was hoping that this one would uh, do the job but it would not do the job so but this is the kind that i needed because it's you know, it's uh, it lays below. There's a opening below the cap, and it's just about this much distance. So I needed something like this, but it, it wouldn't work. Anyway, I know that. I hope that makes sense. If you can understand Babel, then that made sense. But what I ended up doing was uh, these things are all numbered. So I, it was a number ten, number eight, and you just take this. And you screw it in as reverse thread for this way. And it, it, it has two dog ears here. So what you do is you hold this open. You put this down over your threaded part, you know. And you let go. And you get it in a spot where it's going to grab. And then you can go with this thing, right? And until you center it up and, and get it tight. And then you can tighten it with this thing, right? Tighten it with this thing. I couldn't find anything, so maybe it's just a start of a leak, and maybe not. I have no idea. But anyway, this was on Amazon for 50 bucks. Regards of the quality of it, like I said, for the amount of time that I'm going to use it, it's good enough for me. Um, you know, I'm not must that guy, uh, Scotty Kilmer, or Main Street Auto, or Astro Repairs, and those guys I, i'm not a professional i just diy guy right so that's not bad i'll drop out the instructions back so that's the that this here <clears throat> this here is i was i was going to demonstrate this actually and bruce l who i subscribe to um if you haven't subscribed to this channel check him out he's got all kinds of things uh and he went and bought this tool. He must have bought it the same day I did. 
he demonstrates a bit a little bit of a video on there so I I figure I don't need to uh, demonstrate this but it is the auto circuit tracer detector you can do the continuity and you can do the, you put it on tone and takes two nine volt batteries and you can hook this up you know one to ground one to the to the wire and you take your wand and you just follow it and it beeps 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 and when it stops beeping then uh when it starts beeping you know that that's the wire that you're looking for because you might you might be uh on a trailer you know a tail light or something so it goes all the way up and you don't have a clue where it's going you can just keep going and trace it self-explanatory but oh, check uh, Bruce's channel out. He's got a little video on that. So, guys, hopefully tomorrow I will be able to have a video on bleeding the brakes. Anyway, guys, I want to, I want to, again, thank you.